everybody, this is Praxis, and we're here on site, and today there is work going on uh, back over to your right, uh, putting up posts all around the second floor area. That's what I was working on uh, just a little bit ago, putting together those box beams you saw me working on yesterday. And down here, the contractors are working on finishing up the root cellar area. As you can see behind you, uh, we have some of these light tubes uh, already stuck down into the ground. We're putting down some uh, black plastic that's going to be a layer about one foot beneath the, um, uh, the dirt surface, like a foot or two. Uh, under the dirt surface. We're not putting the plastic everywhere, but I'm putting it kind of around the edges to try to just shed away as much water as I can away from the structure. Uh, we have asphalt tar on there, and that, you know, is going to help with it, but there's always leaks, things like that, and, you know, the more that I can try to get the water away from the root cellar, I think the better. Uh, in putting in the, uh, the light tubes that you see, uh, here's one of them uh, right here, uh, these are comprised of uh, three parts. There's the vertical section. This is a four-foot section that sticks up above the ground. There is a two-foot section that goes through the wall. Uh, it actually penetrates into the root cellar. And then there's this 90-degree bend. The 90-degree bend has uh, silver spray paint sprayed on the inside. And the vertical and the horizontal area are going to have uh, mylar uh, sheeting uh, dropped in. Kind of that you might use for like indoor growing of various plants and things of that nature. Um, I've, I've got a supply of that and uh, we're dropping in some, some tubes of it to literally make mirrored tubes to draw the light in. At the moment I just have some, uh, these are old um, concrete uh, bags uh, that I, I've taped onto the top here just to keep dirt and stuff from going in there. Uh, but uh, on the top what I'm going to be putting on is I was thinking about like Pyrex dishes, like really uh, hard glass. It's like if it hails or something it's not going to shatter. I went to a thrift store to try to find some some old Pyrex and I didn't find that but I did find some really nice uh, thick uh, thick glassware and I got five of them, one for each of the light tubes and what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to gr grab a, a coupling that goes onto the top of these four inch tubes and I'm going to silicone the glass piece right onto the top of that, put a little bit more of that mylar to extend the mirrors down and it'll just engage right with the top here. I'm making it as a separate piece in case it doesn't work, in case I want to change them later on. Uh, I'll be able to kind of swap them on and off. This is an experimental thing. I've never made a root cellar before. I've never made a light tube before. So I'm trying on some things and whenever you're trying something new, there's nothing wrong with that, but it's always great if you can give yourself an out, give yourself options later down the road uh, and make things easier for yourself if you need to change things. So that's what I've done with the light tubes and and, you know, I'd recommend it highly with whatever you're doing. If you can ever give yourself the option to modify things later and make it not difficult, it's definitely a good decision to make when you're, uh, you're beginning with it. So it's lunchtime. After lunch, I presume the guys are going to kind of finish up this area here. And I am going to go back and keep making box beam floor joists. That's it. Thanks for watching.